Now, if you've been hearing a lot of hype about AutoGPT just recently, which is basically a chat GPT on steroids, it has the ability to kind of run on your own machine through a lengthy install process, I might add, where you've got to install Python and things like that on your local machine. And then you give it tasks, which it then goes out and tries to achieve. And that includes searching the web and uh, doing all kinds of things. In fact, it creates lots of autonomous agents, which are other GPT instances that try and achieve each goal. So it's a pretty cool system. Uh, mixed results online, I'm seeing. Some people saying it's it's the best thing they've ever seen in their life. It is amazing, but you know, is it easier to use that than it is for you to be able to do it yourself is, is often the question that people are asking. But nevertheless, in this video, I'm going to show you three easy alternatives to using AutoGPT, which are all browser based. So that just makes life a lot easier. You don't have to install all this stuff, which some people will find a struggle, others won't. But it's much easier to just go to a website and then uh, sign up and have all of that capability right there. So this is the first one. It, I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to call it uh, Aomni. Okay, aomni.com, and I'm going to put links to all of these underneath the video, so you can always go and check them out. And this one gives you five free queries a day. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember whether I had to put in my own API key when I set this up. I'm not sure. But what it will do is you give it a task, you know, an objective, as it says here. So I'm going to say brainstorm 20 trending ideas for a Twitter thread on recent breaking AI news and write to a text file. I press research and then it has a process that it goes through where it thinks about how best to achieve that goal. And you can see the progress down here. And it also sort of spells out its thinking too, which AutoGPT does as well. And it's quite handy because you can see it working and sort of thinking how to deal with this problem. You can watch its thought process live in action. So what I'll do is I'll leave that running in the background. And while that's happening, we can go over to another one that I've been trying out. And you can too. Here it is. This one is called uh, God Mode. Godmode.space is the URL for you to go and try this out. This one I did enter my own uh, API key. I do remember that. Although I think you are able to use it at a slower pace um, with less reliability if you just use theirs. But what this will do is the same as the other one, Aomni. You will put in a task. There's mine, brainstorm 20 trending ideas for Twitter and so on. And then it will break down what it has to do to achieve that. And you can see this long list here of things that it's done uh, and attempted to do. Each time it's done the thing that it says it has to do to achieve your goal, it will have you approve its plan of action just down here. And that is very similar to AutoGPT because AutoGPT will say yes or no to each of its steps that it says it's going to take out. So... The, the first one here um, says, uh, create a Twitter thread from a list of uh, five trending AI topics using the specified API keys and account. And then it goes, uh, search for recent AI news on Google. Retrieve the 20, let's zoom in a bit, there you go. Retrieve 20 latest AI related articles from Science Daily. Um, and then it will go on and go on. Now it's saying search for the article smart microbots walk autonomously with electric electronic brains on Google. And it keeps going through and then it's basically writing the contents to a text file and just going through all of this process here. Uh, right now it's reading the contents of the file stack overflow uh, underscore post dot text and executing Python code to create a tweet thread using Tweepy API. <laughs> so it's doing all of this stuff and I, every time I just click approve plan and now it moves on. But what you can also see here is that it's got the option for you to give feedback. So if it's going off down some rabbit hole and it's just all getting a bit too too wrong for you here and using up your credits within, uh, you know, um, your playground API key there, then you can just stop it anyway. So there's no problem there. And you can 
guide it down a different path. And all of the files that it writes are just down here on the left. So we've got trendingaitopics.txt. I wonder actually what would happen if I download that and take a look at what it's done here. What it's done so far. Let's have a little look. Okay, look at that. There we go. So it has already kind of achieved its goal. So what it's doing now is thinking about how it's going to tweet it all, I suppose. Potential trending AI topics for a Twitter thread. Um, new method for comparing neural networks exposes how artificial intelligence works. An AI tool for reducing common drug side effects. New programmable materials that can sense their own movements. And some other stuff like uh, even smartest AI models don't match human visual processing. So there's some topics there. But those are the kind of top level topics that it's come up with. But now I, I'm guessing it's going to be turning those into tweets effectively. And, and it's, as we know, trying to find out how to automatically post this. I would imagine at some point, surely it's going to have to ask me for my Twitter API details so that it can do that. But it doesn't seem to have done that at the moment. And it keeps trying to figure out uh, how it's going to post using an API. So it could go on and on. Um, and I don't think, you know, to be honest with you, it's it's been that useful for this task. I mean, you know, I think there's probably easier ways to do it than this at the moment. But it's still fascinating to see how, you know, this autonomous GPT system is working out and, and dealing with problems. Now, uh, another one that I really like is this one, which is called uh, Cognosis.ai. Again, a link underneath. And it's a similar layout, similar deal. Here it is. You do have to put in your open API key if you want. Uh, what does it say, actually? It tells you why. Increased limits. OK, otherwise you have to use their system and then you can pay out for that. But it's free to just try this out. But I'll just go ahead and just create a new secret key, which um, I'll just put there and copy that. And don't worry, I am going to delete the key afterwards. So my account is not at risk from someone copying it and so on. Um, but if I go and paste that in and save, there we go. Now I'm in a position to use this. I type in the name of the research agent. Then the objective, we'll use the same one, come up with some uh, ideas for Twitter. We won't use automatic tasks because I think that basically lets it run all on its own and just carries on and on and on and on without your approval. And then that's it. We can just click kind of start basically. So it's having a think about it as well. And over on the right hand side, here, you, you can see the completed tasks and you can download them. And now we can see what it's up to here. So the current task, let's just move that over here a little bit. Utilize NLP algorithms to analyze recent AI news articles and extract key topics and themes. Then use machine learning models to predict which of the extracted topics are most likely to trend on Twitter. And then generate a list of 20 potential Twitter threads based on that. And off it goes. It's getting down to business here. So what's it done first then? Um, to analyze recent AI news articles and extract key topics and themes, I will utilize NLP. I'll start by collecting a set of recent AI news articles from reputable sources. Once I have the articles, I will use techniques such as tokenization. Um, goodness me. Part of speech tagging and named identity recognition to identify and extract key topics. Jeez, this thing is smart. Then it's saying uh, use machine learning models to predict which of the extracted topics. I don't know how it's going to do that. And it's off. Look at this. Generate a list of 20 potential Twitter threads based on the predicted trending topics and write them into a text file. Bam, bam, bam. Done. Task complete. And task uh, is shutting down. So, so there it is. There is the potential uh, Twitter topics. And then I'm thinking what you can do here is just click on this, which is going to then download that as a text file. And I'd be interested to know what happens when we open that. What have we got here? Let's have a look at the goodies. See what's collected. Um, if you're finding this useful or interesting, by the way, and you want more videos where I just go and test all of these uh, crazy new AI software platforms, then uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Here we are. 
So understood. And then it's gone through and explained how it's done it. And then now it's it's got all of these topics which it thinks are going to be really good. Now, I suppose there would be nothing to stop me from taking these or adding another task to this initial um, this initial prompt effectively that says create actual tweets now for all of those different topics. But there's some interesting ones here. Look, the use of AI in agriculture and its potential to increase crop yields and reduce food something, I would imagine. Um, food, and then and then it's got the use of AI in the fashion industry and its potential to create personalized fashion products. So some interesting topics. And it did it very quickly and without the need for me to go in through the lengthy install process are using auto gpt so i think so far this one's pretty good now let's go back over to god mode this is still thinking about how to go and tweet this using apis and stuff so i think this one has definitely just gone off on one how about uh amoni aomni aomni there yeah, let's call it aomni again um, brainstorm 20 trending ideas for a Twitter thread on recent breaking news, blah, 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 says the system is making progress towards generating 20 trending ideas for a Twitter thread. The second task of extracting information from the news articles is currently underway. Once completed, the system will move on to rewriting the extracted information into Twitter thread ideas, creating a list of 20 trending Twitter thread ideas and writing it to a text file. So it is doing the job. It's just that it's taking forever. So um, I guess that's just the way that the the code's written or, or what, but it's a lot slower than Cognosis, which has done the, the task quickly and efficiently. So you might want to check this one out. Maybe your results will vary, you know. Um, one thing I do quite like about this God mode one is that it explains its reasoning as well as its thoughts, you know? Uh, so you can sort of understand why it's doing things a certain way and then put it back on the right track by using that additional feedback there. And then the other one, which I, I actually spoke about in a previous video that's sort of taken off quite well is this one, which was Agent GPT, where you enter your own API key or you go and use um, theirs if you, again, it's a similar thing. They'll give you some for free, but if you want to really go for it, use your own. But what, this one does not go online yet. But I do understand that uh, it is uh, on, the, on the cards very soon that they'll be able to go online and do more as well. But these, these guys are already going online and, and doing a good job. Um, this one here says as well, this cog, cognosis.ai, beta is limited to GPT 3.5, but you just know all of these tools are going to be using 4 as soon as they possibly can, because uh, it's just obviously so much more powerful. So to its credit, really, it's done a very good job if it's just using GPT 3.5. Um, the other thing I'd like to say actually about this specific task is that, you know, with a uh, chat GPT and what the browser plugin and everything, you could probably do this just straight up from there as well. So I see these as really, at the moment, I feel that they're kind of filling the void for everybody who can't use chat GPT fully yet with, with all of the different plugins that they're bringing out. But once all of those plugins are out, I think chat GPT by itself will still, will really be able to do mostly what you would like it to do because uh, it's super clever. We've all seen the demo videos. It, it is unbelievable with those plugins. And they're only going to get more and more powerful and better as well. So if you're into chat GPT and autonomous GPT and all of those different things to do with AI, you're going to love this group. This is my group. We've got over 4,000 members now. So you can go and interact with fellow uh, GPT nuts who just love talking about AI, prompting, prompt engineering, the latest and greatest software. Uh, come and get involved in here. We've, we've just had so many people join recently and there's some really, really good people in here, some very knowledgeable people on all aspects of ChatGPT. So uh, you can also access some free training in the classroom there as well. It's like a collection of all of my YouTube videos and tutorials 
tutorials to really get you up to speed um, with ChatGPT and all of the cool things that it can do. And then look at all these different videos. There's absolutely tons. ChatGPT for website building, for YouTube channel growth, all sorts of different stuff. And uh, hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. So that is it for this video. I think we have uh, done a pretty good test of these three on that one simple task. My favorite out of all of these has got to be uh, Cognosis.ai. So far, I think it's just quick, efficient, explains everything really nicely. The user interface is simple, works really well. But um, there's always going to be improvements with the other ones as well. This one's still working on that task. It's just a bit too slow for it to be of any practical use, really, in, in my opinion. It does say it takes anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes, to be fair. But yeah, I think that's a little too long in this day and age with AI, unfortunately. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. And there's some more videos coming your way any second.